Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. So in this particular video we are going to talk about thermodynamics coefficients, right? So in this video I am going to talk about uh, thermodynamic expansion coefficient that is alpha. Also we will talk about the compressibility factor that is beta and also we will talk about the relationship between them, right? So what is the relationship between alpha and beta? Uh, we know a formula, right? That alpha upon beta is equals to uh, how that particular formula is being derived. So we will get to that particular concept as well. And also we'll solve questions related to that which has been asked in the previous years of your exams, right? So without wasting much time, let's try to understand all uh, these two parameters. We'll also get introduced with a factor with a thermodynamic coefficient that is gamma. And I'll explain you that what it, what it is actually, right? So this is one of the very important video from your thermodynamics because there are very less things, le very less information which is there on, uh, on the internet regarding these thermodynamic coefficients in a collective way. So I'll try to compile all these things all together, okay? Now before I start the video, if you have not subscribed to the channel, do subscribe to it so that whenever I upload a new video or whenever I upload something on this particular channel, you get notification about that, right? So let's straight away go into the quotes, uh, like go into the explanation of it. Okay, so uh, talking about the first thing that is your uh, degree of expansion or thermodynamic coefficient of expansion. Okay, so the first one is uh, coefficient of expansion. So coefficient of expansion okay so this particular thing uh, is denoted by alpha and sometimes it is also called as degree of expansion okay so what we actually do is this particular value alpha is given by this it is equals to 1 by V and it's del V by del T at constant P so if you want to define this so what it is actually so it's a degree of expansion divided by the change in temperature at a constant pressure Okay, because dv is going to tell you the degree of expansion okay so i'll just write down over here so it's a degree of expansion degree of expansion divided by divided by change in temperature change in temperature uh, at a constant pressure okay so at a constant pressure pressure okay so this of a particular material is called as thermal expansion and it is generally it generally varies with temperature so basically your degree of expansion is dv upon v this particular value this dv upon v is what it's your degree of expansion okay degree of expansion and you know rest of the things that is change in temperature is on the, in the denominator part all right so this is your coefficient of expansion that's it that's all you need to know about so the formula and what is the definition it basically tells you that at what rate or at what particular like, like what is the rate of expansion for a particular substance we generally um, like we generally calculate this for solid and fluid substances right now the next thing uh, we'll talk about the compressibility factor okay so let's talk about the compressibility factor it is denoted by beta or in some books you will find it out as kt okay so in physics basically it is denoted by kt in chemistry we generally express it as beta so what is uh, what this compressibility factor is so the formula is this that is beta or kt is equals to minus 1 upon v and it's dv upon a dp okay at constant temperature now here what is uh, what it is actually doing is this particular thing is what it's the relative volume change in the fluid since it is getting compressed so that's why the change in volume will be negative so that's why this negative sign is telling you that the that the system or the or the substance is actually getting compressed okay as the name suggests it's a compressibility factor so dv upon v is going to tell you the change in volume okay so it's the change uh, the relative change in uh, the relative this is the relative change in volume okay and uh, like with respect to the change in pressure okay so that is here dp at the at a constant temperature so that's what uh, you get is uh, as a compressibility factor so that's the standard formula of your um, compressibility factor right now uh, over here if you are doing that particular thing at a as, uh, like yeah so this particular thing is generally given at a like this particular formula since the temperature is constant over here so this is also expressed as isothermal okay isothermal compressibility factor so isothermal compressibility factor because 
you have taken temperature as constant okay and it is sometimes denoted by bt also so bt is what it's the isothermal compressibility factor when the temperature we are taking as constant now there is one more adiabatic compressibility factor which you, uh, which will have a formula beta s okay and this will be minus 1 upon v the formula will remain same that is del v by del p so it's again that same relative change in the volume with respect to change in pressure but it is done at a constant entropy so this particular thing is what this is uh, this is adiabatic compressibility factor okay so adiabatic compressibility compressibility factor okay so just these are the two formula for your compressibility compressibility factors so it can be either calculated at a uh, fixed temperature then it will become isothermal compressibility factor and uh, sometimes it is uh, calculated at uh, at the constant entropy so then it will be adiabatic compressibility factor all right now let's talk about one more uh, coefficient that is denoted by gamma all right so our next coefficient is isochoric ther uh, isochoric thermal pressure expansion coefficient all right which is denoted by gamma and it has a formula that gamma is equals to 1 upon p we have del p by del t at constant v okay so this is the formula uh, for your isochoric thermal pressure expansion coefficient so this particular quantity tells you about what is the change in the pressure the relative change in the pressure uh, with respect to change in temperature at a constant volume so that's why it is an isochoric process because the volume is uh, constant and since it depends upon temperature so that's the thermal and pressure expansion coefficient because the expansion is being caused because of the pressure okay because of the change in pressure so we are we are looking upon the change in pressure and in the previous two uh, coefficients if you remember we were looking upon the change in volumes so here that pressure is the factor or from where we are exp or we are calculating the expansion okay so that's why it is quite different from them so these were three uh, thermodynamic coefficients alpha beta and gamma now there is a relation between alpha and beta which you all should know and from where questions have been asked so let's try to understand that all right so let's talk about the relationship between alpha and beta t alpha if you remember alpha is what it's uh, like thermal expansion right uh, it's the iso uh, like yeah so it was your expansion coefficient and this beta t was isothermal compressibility factor so that there is a relationship between both of them so let's try to understand that the formula uh, or the relation between direct relation between them is that alpha upon beta t remember i am writing beta t and for the sake of simplicity in the next steps i won't be writing beta t i will be just writing uh, beta t as beta okay because i have mentioned that beta exists in two ways beta t and beta s but here i am just referring to the isothermal compressibility factor not the adiabatic compressibility factor right so i'll be just i'll be just writing down beta so don't confuse between both of them it will be same for the rest of the explanation right so alpha upon beta t will be actually equal to uh, del p by del t at constant v now it's a very well known equation and if you don't know this you should memorize this and you should remember this that how like what it is actually because uh, once a four marker question was directly asked from this formula but yet i will explain you that how it is actually being derived okay so let's try to understand the derivation part of this so we need to show this particular thing right so let's start the derivation of it so i've just decided divided the screen into two so that i can have some space to explain you guys so let's start from the beginning we have uh, we were aware about the formula for alpha right so the alpha was actually given by this that is alpha is equals to 1 by v and del v by del t at constant p so that was the formula so what i can do is i can just get the formula for alpha v okay so my alpha v will be actually equal to del v by del t at constant p so let it be equation number one okay so let's keep it as equation number one now again if you remember the beta t or the beta was actually equal to minus one upon v and it was del v by del p at constant t right so again i can do the same thing i can just multiply both side by minus v so i'll get minus beta v will be equal to del v by del p at constant t so this is what i will get and let me keep it as equation number two okay so i got equation one and equation two both now what i'm going to do is i'm going to use the property of a state function now volume here depends upon is a function of pressure and temperature now being a state function since the volume is a state function so i can write dv as this that is 
डेल वी बाय डेल पी एट कांस्टेंट टी डी पी प्लस डेल वी बाय डेल पी एट कांस्टेंट पी डी टी ओके सो दिस इज द वे हाउ वी कैन राइट डाउन एनी स्टेट फंक्शन इन द फॉर्म ऑफ द टू वेरिएबल्स ऑन विच इट डिपेंड्स सो नाउ वट आई एम गोइंग टू डू इज आई एम गोइंग टू डिवाइड दिस पर्टिकुलर इक्वेशन बाय डी टी ओके सो आई विल गेट डी वी बाय डी टी ओके एंड इज इक्वल्स टू इट विल बी लाइक डेल वी बाय डेल पी एट कॉन्स्टेंट टी एंड इट विल बी डी पी बाय डी टी ओके प्लस आई विल गेट डेल वी बाय डेल पी एट कॉन्स्टेंट पी सी इट्स द सेम थिंग एंड इट विल बी डी टी ओके सो इट विल बी डी टी बाय डी टी all right so now this can be this will be cancelled out obviously and now what i am going to do i am going to take at constant volume okay so at constant volume so what i'll be getting i'll be getting this that is dv by dt at constant v and this will be del v by del p at constant t and it will be uh, dp by dt at constant v plus it will be del v by del p at constant p and this term will become 1 obviously right now something very amazing is going to happen over here now you, you know that volume uh, dv means change in volume and you have also kept at a constant volume so this whole term is going to become zero okay this whole term will become zero so let me keep it as zero now what i am going to do i am just going to substitute the substitute the values okay so del v by del p at constant t so del v by uh, del v by del p at constant t from the second equation i can put its value as minus beta v and i was having i'll be having the other term that is uh, dp by dt at constant v and the value of this from the equation 1 so it will be alpha v all right so i can keep it to the other side i, will, I can take it to the other side so i'll have beta v into dp by dt at constant v and this will be equal to alpha v now i can just take it to the other side in the denominator so i will be getting uh, alpha upon beta because v v will be cancelled out so alpha upon beta beta will be dp by dt at constant v so that is how you have just uh, derived this equation and you just got the relation between alpha and beta okay so this was a direct relation between alpha and beta and that's how we we just calculated it right so now since you know everything about the thermodynamic coefficients we have understood the def uh, definition we have known the formula we have understood the relation between them let's take the question which was asked in the previous year of csi net exam let's try to see that how it will be solved all right all right so this question was asked in csi june 2018 exam and it was asked for four marks okay so this was a four marker question it says that at 300 kelvin the thermal expansion coefficient and the isothermal compressibility of the liquid water are this and this okay so thermal expansion coefficient means alpha value is given 2 into 10 to the power minus 4 kelvin inverse and uh, the isothermal compressibility that means beta t or beta that was given as uh, 5 into uh, that was given 5 into 10 to the power minus 5 and it was bar inverse okay so they were asking about the value of what they were asking about the value of del u by del v at constant t this was being asked now if you have watched my previous video where i have discussed about the first thermodynamic equation of state and the second thermodynamic equation of states and if you are following this particular series i think you guys might be aware about that what actually this is okay so this particular term will come from the uh, first thermodynamic equation of state okay and uh, yeah next thing is that they are trying to ask everything uh, when the temperature is what it's 320 kelvin and the pressure you have to take as 1 bar So you have to take these two values and this particular value they are asking to solve. So let's try to write down the first thermodynamic equation of state and then see that how we will proceed with this. Proce proceed with this particular thing. Okay, so this particular term, this particular equation comes out from your. Uh, this is your first thermodynamic, first thermodynamic equation of state, right? Now from this particular equation you can see this is the value which we have to calculate. temperature is given pressure is given now del p by del t at constant v how you will get that from alpha and beta obviously right, right now we have done the derivation that alpha upon beta is actually equal to del p by del t at constant v now if you know all these things the question is pretty simple to you it's just uh, it will just take 10 seconds to solve this 
you just have to calculate its value by putting alpha and beta value so alpha is 2 into 10 to the power minus 4 and here you have 5 into 10 to the power uh, minus 5 so that will be that is going to give you the value of del p by del t at constant v so obviously when you solve this particular thing this is minus 5 this is minus 4 so that will be 20 upon 5 so when you will solve this you will get 4 from here okay so the value of this is 4 when you substitute it over here so what you will get is del u by del del v at constant t is that which you have to calculate temperature is given that is 320 kelvin uh, del p by del t at constant v you already have the value that is 4 and sorry you have minus p okay so just put the value of pressure here so pressure is 1 so just multiply with this so here when you multiply it uh, you will get 1280 minus 1 and uh, when you subtract this you will get 1279 and this particular thing uh, whatever you will get um, it will be in bar okay this value whatever you will get will be in bar because it will have a unit of pressure we have discussed about the units right that if two things are given in sum or su uh, subtraction all of their units will be same so this will also have a unit of pressure this whole term will also have a unit of pressure so this is having a unit of pressure that's why we'll get it in bar now the answer is asked in kilobars so what you have to do is you just have to divide it by thousand so when you divide it by thousand so you will get um, yeah so your del u by sorry yeah del u by del v at constant t you will get at 1.279 kilobar okay so the correct answer for this particular question um, is going to come out as your option number two okay so option two will be your correct answer for this particular question so it is as simple as that you just have to solve this question and once you know the values of uh, all the coefficient like once you know the first thermodynamic equation of state and if you know about the thermodynamic coefficient you would have done this particular question pretty simply pretty easily right so that's all guys uh, that's all for this particular video i hope you guys understood and you guys like this video so if you guys like this video do let me know in the comment sections below and uh, uh, if you have not subscribed to the channel do subscribe to it if you have any suggestions any request you can drop that out in the comment section below i'll see you guys in the next video till then have a great day bye bye hello everyone i'm a verified educator at an academy and i take online live classes for csir ugc net and gate chemistry preparation to access my classes on an academy you have to take an academy plus subscription and that you can take for the time you want either for one month three months six months or 12 months while taking subscription you can use my referral code that is n underscore huda to get 10% discount on the referral fee as well as to get access to my WhatsApp group. So if you guys are interested in learning live from me, you can take an Academy Plus subscription and join my classes over there. Now let's continue with our video.